Big composition. They have Zed, they have Lee Sin, Gragas, Renekton. All of these champions can single targeted CC the backlines, which is Jin, which will be that hyper carry or hyper scaling damage for Fennel Adversity at this point in time. And Rico, I don't know what to expect. Wait, picks here in the tournament for the grand finals up against FLA. We're jumping into the gra we're jumping into the grand finals game number one here, Rico, and it is such an exciting moment here for WCS Philippines. Oh yeah, for sure. You think it's a handshake, but no, they're both fighting for this. Yeah, and this is RRQ's chaos playstyle. Karma ulti already in the dragon pit. And now, the dragon being secured by Final Adversity, they're going to back away. This is what they were known for. We do not fight if we are at a disadvantage. But RRQ spawns the referral immediately into the mid lane. Looking for that fight, looking for that engage okay. for the Taffer's blood. RRQ secures it. They go back to man root. They're not gonna the mid lane fight. tier one turret. They still have the opportunity to win despite their disadvantage when it comes to the gold. But right now, RRQ has broken it down. And Rift Herald? Looks oh. like being contested by RRQ. It's Chaz jumping oh, in. Secure. But Final Adversity secures the Rift Herald. But Devil J goes in front, stuns Calm. But Calm, he is pinned. And RRQ takes the first blood. Really nicely done by RRQ. They're able to get at least first blood towards Calm. But that's the beauty about FLA, right? They get the objective and then they run away. Despite the lack of disengage that they have in their toolkit, in their composition, they're oh, fine! Dark Binding, what a perfect oh. CC Marky has done. Yeah, really nicely done. That's four members, rather three members here, just trying to see if they can contest the Ocean Drake. But I don't think they can. No shots left, no bullets left. Danny, go for the flank. They want to go for the pincer oh. maneuver, and how wow. Gary just jumps in wow. with the animation justice, and Venalversity Steals the Ocean Drake. You can't do this under the hands of RRQ. Now Devil J is in <gasps> trouble as Doming looks for the chase. And Devil J can't see the light of day as he is brought down by Fennel Adversity. I called it too soon. I called Devil J over here over the flank. Before the flank, Dominus Dominus activated. is already up. Fennel Adversity going under the turret. They're overextending. Oh, now Devil J comes through. The curtain call is canceled. Now it's Karma with the ulti. Will not pull through though. The route will be perfect. But it's under the turret, and Devil J will go away. Look. But here comes her eyes. Too oh dangerous, my. too risky. And our RQ will have to defend. Yes, we have, have Morgana, Lee Sin, and Devil J with the Renekton. Yeah, they have a RQ has a lot of options. And for FLA, oh, kick! Oh, the kick from Jazz. Perfect wow. timing. But it takes advantage by some time. Final adversity to go through. And now Domming just goes away with one HP. And now Devil J catches. What? But isolation damage. Domming turns it back. And FLA takes four kills from that fight. You know, earlier I was about to say this decision. Um, movements, but FLA turned that around. They were able to turn that engage around coming from Chaz. And imagine, this is all a melee composition. This is all melee on the side of RQ. Therefore, you're mm -hmm. near Calm, you're near a rise from his spinny spinny, Calm as well. So it just works out so well. While Danny, that's scary for him, but these two beefy frontliners that is Calm and Arise and a Garen and a Darius, that works so well for them. Because, yeah, Arise right now, he has Guardian Angel Sterex. No, it didn't kill him. He's gonna be tanky. He can just run away and spin around. Um, and you can see the two man of Raph and Danny, right? Like they can just oh. Oh, Devil J, just gonna get killed by Doming and Calm. This is a two v one, an absolutely dominant start there for Fennel Adversity from top lane to finish this game. Doming though. Chaz gets a kick. Nice CC as RRQ gets the trade. And now Danny is next. Karma ultimate oh. will buy some time though. Dark Finding will root Danny down. An exo sense too tanky. He's gonna go back away, but at the cost of two in hip turrets. And Fennel Adversity is looking for the finish. Curtain call is there, already used up. But the Katilia, that mark onto Rafi. But Vidarowa gives him a lot of this HP. Two man down for Fennel Adversity already. But the Nexus Over. falls, and Fennel Adversity strikes first in the finals. What a game! Again, full control from FLA. 10 minutes, we didn't see first blood. The only first blood that we saw was at the second Rift Herald take, but everybody was able to escape. Not a lot of kills still going towards the side of RRQ. Final Adversity, full control of the map, full control of the situation in team fights, and is able to retaliate when Chaz was trying to initiate and get a kick on one of their members. And they're able to turn things around, get better, finish the game. So, so clean, this team. Yeah, three great, three great, yeah. cool game. And having Jin in your lineup 
I think this is the first. I'm guessing this is either going to be a Graves top or Graves mid. We've seen Graves in the mid lane a couple of times during the early stages of the WCS, so there is still a big possibility of switch ups. But something that is already certain is Chaz in the Chazix. And Galio and Senna in for Marky and Exosen. So we'll see what Devil J and Helos are gonna pick up. Package. Uh, yeah, don't cheer us, Rico. Are you just regarding the shotgun of Graves in the mid lane? It's such a short range. I think <laughs> 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 it's so short to the point that it's melee to me. You know, like it's so short. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do Graves like that. No, I'm kidding. I know, I, I shouldn't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, Graves. Oh, I know you, this is where they're gonna shine. This is how they're gonna try and see if they can wait for RQ to start this, because Infernal Drake's gonna be very important. Or they can get a pick with a Dark Binding. Yeah. Either of those two options. Yeah, and remember, they have the Cloud Drake, so more movement speed. So if ever RRQ starts it, Final oh, Adversity can respond very quickly. But right now, Final Adversity oh. wants to start this. They don't have enough patience to wait for RRQ for forever. But Danny. Binded by Senna, but Chaz comes through. Oh, they got it! The hero's entrance will knock up on two. RRQ goes in for the Senna ulti. Almost saves his life, but Rafi now goes down. RRQ, RRQ. but that is still a lost Infernal Drake. That's still lost stats. But Domi moving forward. Now RRQ has to be safe. Ooh, the shock blast. Senna is building AP on this Galio. So that means FLA can just build all the armor they want. But at the same time, they're going to get hurt by the AP from Exo. Oh, two man apprehend, followed up by Glacial Fisher. This is huge for Fennel Adversity. And Chaz is already down. Double J oh. trying to survive. The flash is oh. going to be perfect. Wow. But Rafi with a flash, followed up by Dom Meng, secures the kill. Marky is in danger. He's in trouble as Dom Meng looks for the chase. But that flash will be burned, and FLA secures two kills. Nicely done by FLA. Even though UDG was in a significantly uh, big lead, they're still able to get back into the game. Yeah, although I don't know if RQ is even behind. Because right now, the gold is in even footing. Final Adversity has two drakes though, however. But 50k gold for each end of these teams. Now Final Adversity, starting Ocean Drake, RRQ. With the shadows, will go in contest. Zakshan going for the oh. ultimate onto Exocent. Oh, but a lot wow. of these damage, look at the engage! RRQ is looking for the contest. That hero's entrance is massive. Going in for the knockoff. Oh, it's it. RRQ securing the Ocean Drake away from Fennel Adversity. And now they are just gonna get eliminated. Four kills for RRQ. Nicely done by RRQ. That is exactly the fight that they were they've been waiting for. It is all thanks. To the four, or three. Are you playing the role of Fennel Adversity? Well, not the role, but the game that they played just a while back. It's RRQ who won that team fight, who got the four kills in a specific objective, and Go now for the they third dragon and get that fight. Who won RRQ? And now, well, RRQ looking for the mid lane, but now it's CC locked onto Exosen, forcing out the Stasis Ancha, but he's stunned. He's locked up as Fennel Adversity secures the kill onto the support of RRQ. Double J is able to use a flash at least to escape, but it doesn't change the fact that a lot of these towers are gone. And this is not what FLA wants. They are... Five? No, Helios is going back into that pit. Yeah, and they're going for the flank potentially as Helios looks to go oh? to the side. But FLA is corralled on a pinch. Geisha Fisher oh already forced. Exosend jumping into the front lines. Go for two mad stun. And RQ is collapsing against Final Adversity on top of the hill. The flash from Calm already forced. And now RRQ pushes FLA back. No one died! No one died on the side of FLA, but look at the flashes, look at the summer spells. Only Smite available, literally on the side of FLA. The dragon resetted, but FLA doesn't have a lot of summoner spell resources anymore. Let's see, take two of this fight. It's such a risky move. If they go in, they don't have flashes to go back away. So this is a one-way ticket if ever they contest, but RRQ still has this massive respect Players that we talked about, who are the pillars, who are the foundations what? of RRQ, but Did FLA it? might just start this. Take oh. over the leash, RRQ. What? Oh, what? RRQ has stolen what? the Elder Dragon. You can't do this, Jazz. This is illegal. And now Final Adversity has to back away. Doming is already dead. RRQ has the numbers advantage. Three man versus five man from RRQ. We know who has the advantage, and Final Adversity has to retreat because RRQ is looking for the finish. Oh my gosh, even if, even if Fennel Adversity says, thank you for the leash, Chaz says, no, thank you for the leash. Absolutely amazing, and RRQ will equalize the series in the grand finals. Oh my gosh.
it all boiled down to that Elder Drake fight. We saw the decision making in Fennel Adversity where, okay, they left the pit. Let's not make it reset. I'm going to put Tormented Soil on the bit to make sure that Elder Drake doesn't reset. And they continued, tried to be sneaky, but then everybody from RRQ was nearby. The split decision making to retaliate, jump into that pit, and steal that away from Fennel Adversity. What a play from RRQ. This, this team, so patient. RRQ is able, because either way, someone's gonna get that ranged matchup in the solo lane. Someone's gonna get the Lucian. Unless this is a Lucian bot, uh, in, uh, for Marky, this is gonna switch things up. But I am guessing this still could be towards Helios and Devil J. So one of the melee champions that is, um, I have the double there. tanks on the side of FLA. Their job before was to make sure that kills don't fall. But there's zero assassins on the side of RQ this time around. You wonder how common Arise can survive these fights, even if they're tanks, even if they're bruisers. So a lot at stake. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a very slow one. Like you dash, you 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 scream Demacia, you raise your sword. Ooh, calm. Oh. That is risky, risky move there. But and here on the backside, use a flash, get the first blood. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, FLA rotated in the mid lane. And usually you see action from FLA if... I still send. If, like, reactive. Oh. For the showstopper brings him under the turret. Phase breaker to follow up the CC chain is no. flawless. And Chaz gets the first blood. Nicely done, because reactive. We know that RQ's plan is by locking in the Fiora, they have that potential of that 4 1 split push. And having that Rift Herald means they can get more space by opening the map first and making sure that they have that leeway before Devil J split with them. Although this is a very interesting tale. It's the first game that Adversity prioritizes the Rift Herald. But now, Showstopper comes through. Domin uses the Flash to go back away. It has they to retreat are... at the disadvantage. Yeah, I think they want to even out the towers because you, you talked about how tower-wise, map control, that's what FLA wants. He bought a teleport. He can teleport. Yeah, now here is entrance. Onto Dom Mank, that's a knock-up, onto Exocent, taunt to follow through, FLA gets a numbers advantage immediately into the fight. For oh. Chaz now coming through, Helios, healing a free hit, but look at Arise, just so tanky! Helios can't do damage, and now Final Adversity has the two kills again. Gotta see if they can get this. Double J has teleport, Arise cannot split push because he doesn't have teleport. So, Double J has a lot of time. Yeah, and Final Adversity gonna secure that Mountain Drake, and Helios with the culling. Not enough damage to bring down Calm. Exosen looking for Raph. Raph with a proto belt gonna go back to safety. And this is what we talked about a while ago, how Arise can just defend it. has to contest. Because if they don't, it's true damage haven for FLA. They also have two Guardian Angels here. We'll see. Arise can evenly match against Devil J. We saw that earlier, but it's gonna take time. Half HP already on the Elder Drake. Calm, apprehend onto Exosen. Followed through by the Decimate will not deal enough damage. The Elder Drake. Look at Raffi though, going for the taunt on the front lines. Oh. Exosend is brought to half HP. Oh, Chaz exhaust. going through, putting Raffi's HP at a very low state, but calm! J is gonna be popped. TP's now coming through, and Fennel Adversity wants to go for this fight. It's very oh, low. Oh, calm is already dead. Oh, RQ has the number six advantage, or numbers advantage. But Fennel Adversity pulling through. RQ doesn't want to fight it because they already got what they came for. Yeah, they were able to manage to get a kill, and that's 40 seconds without Calm! On the advantage here, with Calm, nowhere to be found for Fennel Adversity to fight this. Rathi is down low, with <gasps> Helios going for some pokes, it's Showstopper from oh Exosen going to go into the back lines, and Rathi is already down, no engage for Fennel Adversity, and the top inhib turret is down. Remember, the one equipped to face Devil J is Arise, not Calm, Arise, he is built, he the built- top lane, but remember, we can see the TP cooldowns of Devil J, but they can't. So they are unsure on what they need to do. And once again, Devil J's TP now open. Final Adversity has this advantage. Two man gone for Final Adversity to even go oh for this fight. As Exosan showstopper to go into the back line. Traffic go for the taunt. And Exosan is very low, but Fennel will not secure the kill. But that was a delayed one for one trade for RQ and Fennel. Yeah, crazy amount of damage coming from the side of RQ. You think Exosend was about to fall, but no. Haymaker Thick Shields, double teleport going in. 
Yeah, the safety's is Anchan will buy some time for Final Adversity to come through. Oh the Dark Binding is just so flawless. And Marky with the ultimate, he's going for it. That's one man already down. GA gonna be popped for calm. As Senna has to use the flash to go back away. Stasis Anchan, you can't use your ult. You don't oh even have your ult. And RRQ is pushing top lane. Oh, they're gonna finish the game. This is 35 seconds for the rest. And they're gonna clean slate. No, double J. Gonna be popped. Yeah, but a super minion's now pushing through. Danny is very low as well. Double J can finish this fight. <gasps> Danny, one HP. The super minion's creeping in. Oh, Two sorry. TPs into the base. RRQ is looking for the finish. They're Drops going back. for the base. They're going for the Nexus. But Final Adversity has all the teams here. All the members defending the Nexus, but one more TP coming through from oh, Devil J. Two TPs is. now coming up. The Nexus, 1k HP left as RRQ gets the advantage in the series. 2-1 against FLA. A slow and steady game where we are only seeing fights by the third dragon, by the Elder Drake. The patience coming from RRQ. They're matching the patience of Fennel Adversity. They know that Fennel is just going to try to play slow. They're going to try to be a little finding picks here and there. RRQ not giving in. They're giving you, it to you, you. You know that, uh, what do you call this? That Galio is such a good pair with the Diana pick on Arya. So you, you want to take that away. And we talked about wave clear. What are their champions that can provide wave, wave clear with Kaisa? Maybe the Gragas Barrel roll. Maybe the Winds of War. Yeah. Having that melee matchup, having a Brom in your team has so much value because the passive can proc that easily. We'll see if that's going to be uh, uh, coming into fruition because we saw how FLA, or rather both of these teams, fight it out later at the third dragon fight. But, you know, Horizon and Devil J have a different story. Yeah, early game matchup. Ooh, the flash is gonna be burned! And Devil J gets the first blood, a solo kill, and the first ability. Now, RQ is just going for the Infernal Drake confidently. Right a while ago, they're not going for it, and they're waiting for Fennel Adversity to start it. Well, there we go. Yeah, and that kick coming from oh. Lee gets a trade from Fennel Adversity that they're looking for. Make it two kills as oh. Devil J is already down. Wow. Fennel Adversity going through to secure more kills. But instead, it's RRQ going for the counter engage. Gets three kills from that fight. It's even level playing field with three for three. But RRQ got the infernal game. Now, let's focus on the game. It's RRQ now going for the rift there. Then Adversity still doesn't have a trade in objective. And now it's Exosen going for the taunt. Has the Raffi locked oh in gosh. onto the ground. That's one man down for Fennel Adversity. Ooh. Moonfall already forced. Exosend very oh. low. But look at Devil J going oh. into the back lines. Devil J uses up the Hex oh. Blast to go back to safety. Oh. And Dominic just jumps in to secure the kill. It's a 2 for one Fennel Adversity oh has the advantage. But Chaz and Marky just wrecks Havoc into the back lines. Gets two kills from wow. Fennel Adversity. But still, it's Dominic securing the trade that they need. It's a 4 for 2 trade in favor for FLA. And when My it comes to contesting objectives, and this is not definitely a 70 30, as right now, Final Adversity no? gets a pickup, Glacial Fisher to follow what up, and Exosen is just gonna walk away to safety. But Final wow. Adversity pushes into the back line, so the rise getting the kill of the Devil J. That was. That was. FLA looking for a fight, Arc, and therefore he's very squishy. FLA, focus target. Rafi. Danny, top lane, going for a fight. Exo Sand Heroes Entrance, not oh gonna connect onto anyone, <gasps> but Aurelia just finishes Danny off, even under the turret. Two summoner spells already down. Dark Binding followed up oh by Marky. This is huge as Healers wow. comes through with a quickness and a grand entrance, <gasps> knocks up onto oh Raffi, and Raffi falls, and Chaz is now popping off. Two kills already deep. in that fight. And now Ryzen comes through into the fray. Final Adversity goes for the counter engage, but Exo Sand to front lines once again. Oh my God. And Chaz is just eviscerating <gasps> Fennel Adversity as they take three kills away from Fennel. Yeah, that's the cash in. Chad was able to get, what, three kills? I mean, it's still not over. I don't... Exocet has no flash whatsoever, but I don't think Alphalon can catch... Hiding on the bush. And they're setting that Rift Herald. And Final Adversity is on a pinch. They have the contest. They lose a lot of these objectives. They lose oh. Rift Herald once more. This is going to be crazy. Arisen wow. now starting this fight as RRQ secures the Rift Herald. This is what they were looking for. Then Final Adversity loses Horizon, oh loses Raffi, and Arise will fall in the hands of RRQ wow. as RRQ gets the ace. That's a clean slate. That's an ace, just as you said, Infinity. And they're able to get the Rift Herald. They're able to get more kills on the board. And the only king that fight is Helios. Marky got, managed to get a couple of kills. 17 seconds on the core FLA to come up on board. 
Are they gonna think to get the inhibitor tower? Do they want to get this? They, they can't. They will. The rift arrow oh, spawns rift like right in front of the inhibitor as it falls, and RRQ will open up the mid lane. A lot of pressure consistently in every RRQ can win this game for and get to match point. Yeah, 10k goldies already on the side of RRQ. Yeah, tree, three stack Vanguard on to rise, Moonfall going to for going oh towards that counter engage, but fellow adversity is stuck in this fight. The pin down and Horizon will fall, followed up by Rafi. That's double kill for RRQ, and they secure a tier two turret top lane. Yeah, this is this is 20 seconds, 30 seconds for Horizon and Raft to come back to life. This is them having a lot of space to see if they can dive some more. Stunning, Sonic Wave onto Exosend. Not enough though to get oh. that punish. Danny is stuck. He CC'd and Horizon will fall. Now it's Lee Sin going through and through. But two man defense, not going to be the best case scenario for Fennel Adversity. They have their retreat in R. Yeah, this pressure is just going to force FLA to invest more members, meaning no Baron people. To, to, to try and contest this one. Now it's Horizon. You know, through and through. But oh Chaz going in front, top of the hill. Rafi is already down. Fellow Adversity loses one of their members. Make it be second as Horizon is stuck between four members. And RRQ takes three kills. And Fellow Adversity Ooh. is opting to back away. And RRQ is going for the kill. They're hunting their prey. They're being the predators here for game four. And with Domang, the last one alive, RRQ Ooh. gets the ace, and RRQ will be in match point. Their match point again this grand finals, RRQ from the very first game. And now up until game four, uh, game three rather, where we've seen very slow games, fighting only towards the third dragon. But it's now the complete opposite. We're seeing so much action. We're seeing where RRQ thrives. And now with the matches all in composition, it's gonna be yeah. the Aurelia. It, it's like the Infinity Stones, right? Galio, Exosun, Riven, probably Helios, Akali for Devil J. Like these are all for the side ah. of Fennel Adversity, where they can get a pick. They got a lot of pick potential. You got the charm, Bola Strike, a lot of funnel damage onto a single target coming from the Jace as well. So I can't imagine this can be another angle that Fennel Adversity can can attack from, which they used against UDG. Back go back in. in. Right now, Fennel Adversity starting to rest out with RRQ is on the horizon with the ward there they have the vision but final adversity they have to wait for ari ari is too far ahead oh. now rq jumps in into the fight a shuriken flip coming through they're jumping back in and rq oh. will get the rift herald at the cost of chaz's life but at the same time calm is dead dumb oh, is oh. dead and rq is collapsing against oh my gosh. adversity and now with a rise going for the flash oh. Might just be the yes. double kill as Devil J will fall. This is a 3 4 3. Marky is looking for oh another as Danny what? will get the piercing arrow right in front of his face. But Helios will secure another as that was a 5 4. Rise, but looking at the rotations from FLA, Khan is far away again. So this could be a very short 4v5. RRQ, you can't do this. You can't get all the direct objectives. Don't be selfish. Give some to FLA. But the chain of corruption now connects onto Doming. Doming is very low. Oh. Blade of the Exile secures the kill. Helios is very low as well. Numbers advantage oh. for RRQ at the moment. The route from Senna will give Come, a lot rap. of these time from FLA to counter engage. Chaz is too deep in the jungle of enemy territory as Fennel Adversity gets the one for one. Both jungles down. Okay, RRQ is definitely satisfied with that, even though for Jab, so Calm decided to rotate instead, grab that bonus gold, and give up that Rotero. Explosive cast, Exosan going for two-man taunt here. Helios. The tenders arise and oh do anything in that fight. Gosh. Now RRQ secures a rise. Oh. It's now calm. Flank! Being there, coming through. RRQ going for the fight. Chaz is already down. It's a one for one. <gasps> Rafi to the backside, but Exosan in the front line, oh. putting a huge space for RRQ to win that, and that will be the triple for RRQ. That was so sweaty for both RRQ and FLA. Getting that taunt onto Arise, 
may just state death for Fennel adversity as they pull through. But now RRQ Ooh. is going for the Mountain Drake. Oh it's Dame God. looking for the steal, but RRQ still secures it. All objectives oh. secured by RRQ. Exo Sun is very low, but oh. Fennel adversity doesn't have any follow up. Dame is already down. Rafi to follow up. And it's RRQ having the numbers advantage. 6 11, 5 kills ahead from Fennel adversity. Something has got to give. But RRQ is like the protagonist in The Matrix, just oh. dodging all the bullets. But right now it's RRQ being collapsed with Fennel Adversity, but the counter engage right. is flawless. Arise is very oh. low. He gets killed by Exosun, but Ignite burning him down. And RRQ gets a third in the mid lane. Now RRQ is still pushing in. Fennel Adversity is on the edge. They're under their tier 2 turret with the Rift Herald pushing in. RRQ is there to punish, and they have to force the ult from Rafi. Time and time and time again, the Infernal Drake has just so much value when it comes to Dragon Boss. Oh! Devil J sure can flip coming through into the back lines. It's going oh my in! God. And now Danny is just gonna get melted by RRQ. And once again, Devil J looking for the chase. Astoming is very low. Girl of the Hunt forced already immediately to go. Good sidestep from Exosen will miss that opportunity to CC. But now Helios jumps oh over the wall. The flash, the stun, Helios. What was that? And now it's RRQ going to punish Fennel Adversity. Jungler is down. They managed to scare off Fennel Adversity, and because the dragon, or rather. The jungler is down, they can make a beeline straight for this Baron and they're looking to get more of these towers and maybe, just maybe, even the game, the series, the championship title. This team was one year in the making. This team never got through the playoffs last year. But right now, they are showing their dominance and sovereignty in this grand finals. As they take the kill to Exosend, Fennel of oh. is looking for that hope, clinging for that hope to win this. As Double J will die, it's RRQ with three men left to defend this. As Calm is very low as well, oh, TPs are now hard. coming through. Chaz has to retreat, Chaz has to go back away, but Chaz don't care. He's going back in, that's a trade. Jaser can serve over the wall, going to safety, but Chaz on the other oh. side of this map, RRQ will melt Calm. And now it's Chaz, very low though. Here's entrance, Chaz. gets that magic shield up for Chaz to go back into safety and RRQ got the tier 2 third mid lane. They're able to maximize that Baron for sure! The They're going in for Marky as Marky forces out the stasis and to put Exosun is very low already. Devil J coming to oh the sideline, going for the flag, the shuriken flip, perfect execution with the 5 point strike will not secure the kill on the rise. But RRQ is looking for the finish one a year in the making from the lower bracket run. They're going here in the grand finals to make it onto top two. Mid lane is open, top. First of all, the waves are marching down really, really fast, really, really thick. Party brush? RQ, don't do this. They're going for the flag. Vanguard oh. will not connect. The charm will disable RQ for a couple of seconds, but Devil J coming into the back lines. Oh my god. Flip coming right through. Hero's entrance. Go for the two men. Knock off. Rafi is taunted. Two men is already down for Fennel Adversity and RRQ with the Elder Dragon alive and Baron Nasher available. They can punish Fennel Adversity. A ton of kills on the board and help a lot of necessary damage. Look at them. They're going to get this. No contest whatsoever. This is so much to it's little to none. Doming is down in the bottom quadrant jungle and RRQ will get every single objective in this game 5. 10k gold lead, Baron buff and Elder Drake. They're poised to fight, they're poised to end the game. This is it, this is their moment, Infinity! RRQ is looking for the finish. Their lower bracket run. They almost gave up in the playoff. They almost had it done in WCES, but they are points. They are ready to contest what? any adversity. The explosive cast though, it's now RRQ going for the engage, but RRQ will be your champions of Philippine WCS. Oh my gosh, we have the number one team in the Philippines, RRQ. What a way to finish <laughs> this game, this series. They picked all their iconic picks that they're known for, that they're strongest has. Oh my gosh, the emotions coming from RRQ right now. The miracle won from the lower bracket of the playoffs now to be the grand champions. To be the fifth in the regular season, RRQ has defied all expectations. 100 